All right, welcome to part six of solving mazes with reinforcement learning. Uh, today, we're actually going to start working on the agent class. And uh, this is where things start to get a little bit fun. We're going to start tying all of the pieces that we've already done together, the buffer, the model, the you know um, environment that we've put together. Uh, and you know I don't think we'll see anything run in this video, but you'll at least start to see all the framework coming together. So. We're going to create a new file, call it agent.py, and we're going to have to import a few things here. So import OS, import torch, import torch.nn.functional as f, import torch.optim, or from torch.optim, sorry, from torch.optim import atom be using the atom optimizer um, and then from sac utils actually we won't need that one from model import star all right so there are our import statements for now we're going to create a class give myself another space there called agent And we're going to say def init. And this is going to take a bunch of params. So uh, hang tight and work through it. Num inputs, action space, gamma, pal, alpha, the policy, the target update interval next line hidden size learning rate and later on we're gonna add an exploration scale actually let's go ahead and add it exploration scaling factor that's not part of SAC that's part of the next part um, but we'll go ahead and include it for now so self dot gamma equals gamma self.tau equals tau, self.alpha equals alpha, and uh, don't worry about what these are for for now. We're going to get into it as we start to use them. For now, let's just get all of our all of our params set up. Self.policy type equals policy, self. Dot, actually, we may not need that, but I'm going to leave it for now. Self.target update interval equals target update interval. Self.device uh, equals torch.device CUDA. If CUDA.torch.cuda dot is available else CPU and you really want to run this on um, on a GPU so I'm gonna go ahead and print out uh, running on self dot device and uh, my advice would be if you spin up this uh, agent and it you know says CPU here when it starts I would go back and do some troubleshooting and figure out why so this is going to run very very slowly if you try to run it all on your CPU so um, let's start in defining our networks so we're going to say self dot critic equals critic and we're gonna feed in num inputs action space dot shape hidden size and we're gonna send it to device equals self dot device and then we're gonna do self dot critic optim so the oh, I've got to spell optim correctly um, is Adam and we're gonna feed in self dot critic 
dot parameters. And we will feed it our learning ready. Uh, okay, self dot critic. Actually, we can probably copy paste. So this is going to be self dot critic target. And all of these should stay the same. Okay. And we actually don't need a critic target optum. We need to call hard update self dot critic target self dot critic. And we'll go back and write this function in a little while. All right. So for now, We'll just throw a to-do in here. To-do, write hard update function. All right, that looks good. And then we're going to initialize our predict, our, uh, actually we're going to skip the predictive model right now. We are going to add our policy, which is our actor. So self.policy equals actor num inputs action space dot shape zero hidden size action space and as usual to self dot device and self dot policy Optum equals Adam self dot policy dot parameters and LR equals learning rate. All right, so let's go do our hard update uh, function, and I'm just going to include this in the top outside of the class. Uh, we are going to do def hard update target source for target param param in zip target dot parameters source dot parameters target param dot data dot copy param dot data all right so um, what this is basically doing is it is looping through one of our networks and copying all of the params to the other uh, network. While we're here, let's go ahead and define our soft update because we're going to need one of those two. Target source. And we're going to say for target param. Param in zip target dot parameters source dot parameters target param dot data copy or dot data dot copy target param dot data times one dot o minus tau plus param.data times tau. Um, so what that's going, oh, and I need to add tau as a uh, param we're passing in. So what this is effectively going to do here, so if the, if the hard update is copy all parameters, the soft update is effectively copying all parameters with a little bit of a discount factor here. Um, so, you know, it's going to basically apply some of the changes, some of the parameter updates of the original network, and, um, but, but lag a little bit behind the original. And that provides a stabilizing effect. So most of the time, if you see um, a, you know, 
like in this case our critic and our critic, tar critic target, the uh, goal of the critic target is to lag just a little bit behind the critic um, and provide a stabilizing you know, effect on learning. And uh, that helps with some of the overestimation biases that we see in uh, some reinforcement learning uh, algorithms. So next up, um, we are going to code up our select action. So def select action. So this is what's actually going to give us um, what the agent should do. So self state evaluate, and we're going to default evaluate to false. State equals torch dot float tensor. So we're just going to cast it to a tensor, float tensor, and then we're going to send it to self.device, and then we're going to unsqueeze it to get the right dimensionality. So if evaluate is false, we're going to say action, and then we're using underscores because we don't plan to use those variables, self.policy.sample else action equals self dot policy dot sample state and then we're going to return action dot detach dot cpu sending it all back to the cpu now that we did things on the gpu dot numpy and then the zeroth element so let's talk about this one for a second. So what we're basically saying is if we're not in evaluation, we're going to take the first value back from self.policy sample, which if you recall, let's go look at our actor, our policy, and that first, um, that first value is going to be the action it outputs. So again coming over here so if we're if we're in an evaluate false then we're just going to take back whatever that first action value is if we're in an evaluate true then we're going to take the third response and the third response is the mean so if we're evaluating the network we want the mean value if we are you know, training, we want the more random action value that is, uh, is provided here. So that's what we're doing there. Um, now we're going to code some of the uh, boilerplate functions. Um, and just to kind of put it here, there's going to be an update parameters function. And I'm thinking um, we'll code that up in the next video because that's going to be a longer one. So for now, I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to put a pass and we'll go ahead and code some of the, uh, some of the sort of boilerplate functions to make this work. So we're going to do our save models because we're going to need that. Save models. And this is just going to tie in to all of the um, all of the save checkpoint functions that we've already written in our models. So we can say self dot actor dot save. Oh, did I not include? Let's see. Aha. Self dot policy policy dot save checkpoint self dot target critic target dot save checkpoint let's see yep Right, self dot critic dot save checkpoint. And 
And I do want to look at something very briefly. All right, that's fine. Self.policy, self.critic. Uh, let's see, and I think that is all of our models that we've declared so far for, uh, for saving our checkpoints. And then we also want to go ahead and um, add a, let's do this. I think our directories may not be there. So let's say if not, os.path exists, checkpoints, os.makeDurs, that's why we needed that os module, checkpoints. And then we want to go ahead and print that we are print saving models. All right, so if not OS path exists, create it um, and then go ahead and save off our models and we should be good to go there. And then let's just go ahead and do a def load and you know what? Everywhere else we're saying checkpoints. Let's go ahead and change this to save checkpoints. All right, and then down here we'll say load checkpoints. And we'll make that, that singular load checkpoint, save checkpoint. Sorry for the run around there. All right. And uh, we're going to also use an evaluate uh, param here. We'll say we'll start out with evaluate equals false as the default. Um, and this one you do want a little bit of error checking. So, you know, I want to try to load the checkpoints. And if it fails um, outside of evaluate, then I want to go ahead and... Uh, you know, just print that we're starting from scratch. Basically, there's nothing there to load, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start training from scratch. If it fails during evaluation to load a checkpoint, then I just want, want it to die. I want it to not continue um, because you obviously don't want to evaluate a model um, without having loaded the, loaded the model, loaded the checkpoint. So we're gonna do a try. Print loading models self dot policy dot load checkpoint self dot critic dot load checkpoint self dot critic target dot load checkpoint and if we get got this far print successfully loaded models. So, and then we can say, uh, let's see, accept print here. What we're going to do here is we're going to say if um, evaluate, then raise exception. to evaluate models with without a loaded checkpoint else we can say here um, print unable to load models starting from scratch all right so basically, we're going to try to load our models. If anything fails, we're going to go into our accept here. Um, and if we're in evaluation mode, we're going to go ahead and raise a new exception um, to make sure that we don't keep going. So that's what should happen there. And then uh, we will go ahead and do if evaluate. Oh, I went too far in. If evaluate, then self.policy.eval, self.critic, 
self.eval self.criticTarget.eval. And then this shouldn't be necessary, but just to be explicit, we're also going to say else self.policy.train and self.critic.train and self.criticTarget.train. All right, and I think we're going to end the video there. In the next uh, video, we will come back and do our update parameters uh, method and then uh, start coding in the actual use of this agent.